Hey everyone, Tom here, back with yet another episode of probably my favourite thing to do on the show, Bastard Mind. This is the, the quiz show that we do here at Battle Up Resume. Huge thanks to all the guests so far. This is episode 6, the 6th rendition. We've had Kruger versus Gemini, O'Shea versus Pamphlet. Who can forget Soul versus Bloodstroke? You know, there's been some fantastic guests, Colton and Zach and Crafty and Canel. And today, I have another sort of weird pairing. Like, that's kind of what I like about the show. It's just battlers that I'm huge fans of that don't really make sense in any way other than competitive battle trivia so here i am uh with hulk with juan and first of all hulk great to have on the show thank you bro thank you for having me you you're a competitive guy i know you've wanted to come on the show for a while you know you've told me that you enjoy it i've seen you in the comments saying that you've you know you're besting everyone's scores so i mean how confident are you how deep is this reservoir of battle rap knowledge do you know what it is yeah it's it's mad because i always used to feel like that on like million pound drop or who wants to be a millionaire and that but then when you actually try and do it yourself the questions can be so random in it so like some of the questions to me were easy because a lot of the events I've, I've been at um and a lot of the things i've watched a lot of the people i know but then obviously some of the american stuff and stuff is obviously not going to be as easy so yeah, yeah. yeah. and juan as well great to have you on uh, you, you you're a chill guy you know, you're a very skilled guy, and, you know, you're killing it on the battle scene. What's your trivia like here? You're quite young. Yeah, but I feel like I know more than a lot of people, to be honest. Like, I watched the Soul Blood Throw. The Blood Throw was just absolutely terrible, like, so bad. <laughs> and so, you knew nothing at all. Um, and, like, even though I probably missed out some of the earlier years of battling, I feel like I've kind of caught up on a lot of it. I think URL, URL is not really, like, my strongest point. This is a familiar game to many, but just to go through the rules, uh, there are five rounds here. It is a points-based trivia quiz. Play along at home. I know you do. Comment below how well you did. The first round is general knowledge. Five questions in each round. Hulk will go first, then one. Uh, you get an answer, and if you get it wrong, your opponent gets a chance to steal the point. The second round is who battled who. So is a battler, and I will go through, you know, their past opponents, and you've got to tell me who they actually faced. The third round is real names, where I'm just going to give you the government name of a battler, and you've got to just shout it out. I say round two and round three, and round four are all just, you know, fastest finger shout out. Round four is a new round for Battle Up Resume. Pretty simple. What event? So I'm going to name a battle, and just tell me what event it went down. Again, just shout that out. The final round is the finish the line round where I will do a quote, I'll do a question about something, some sort of line from battling literature, and you've got to let me know what it is. Again, uh, it's free a piece this time, so you get your answer, and then the other guy gets the answer if you get it wrong. Hulk, are you ready for your general knowledge round? Yep, ready to go. Question one. Which international battle was supposed to go down at Don't Flop's right club? <sighs> right club. Do you know what? Uh, I want to say Quill versus my verse. That's incorrect. That was supposed to go down at Sheffield, I think. Yeah. Quan, do, do you know this international battle? No, I did. Did Soul, Soul vs. Purpose happen at that event? Soul vs. Purpose was there, yeah, the headliner. Okay. Uh, no, I literally got no idea on that one. No idea at all. I pass. Okay, this is one I always really wanted to see. This was Heartless vs. Double L. Uh, okay, yeah, I do remember Quite, that. That's good, but it's kind of forgettable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would have liked to have seen it happen. Hulk, second question. What was the name of Code Red's recently cancelled Birmingham event? Oh my god. Um, I want to say... Uh, no, nah, do you know what? I don't know. Come on. Come on. No Code Red fans out there. It's like, these are things that never happened, isn't it? So it's hard to I remember, suppose, like... I suppose there is a theme. Yeah. <laughs> There's a theme. Juan, any these ideas? Questions, these questions are mad. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone nah, says that. Uh, I don't know, like... I can't remember if it's Code Red or Short Tower do the volumes. Would it be Code Red Volume 3 or something? Or is that Short Tower? Uh, short Tower do the volumes. Short Tower do the volumes. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, then I've, got, I've got no <laughs> idea. Everyone's screaming at home. Danny, Jack and Craig are screaming it. Uh, it's The Purge. That's it. It's one of them bait names as well, though, man. This is why people need to get more creative with their event names, man. <laughs> we told you so, for example, on KOTR. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, third question, Hulk. Chance to get a point here. This was the most anticipated grind time battle yet. It featured West Coast battle legend Lush One flying to take on the grind time champ. Who was that? Ooh, um, wow. It wasn't D-Rex, was it? It wasn't. Juan? 
Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's hard as well. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd guess it. I'm Solomon, but I literally got no idea. It was actually unorthodox phrases. See what I mean? This guy, like, uh, I've never heard of that person before. Have you not, I've watched have you that not? battle as well. I've watched yeah. that one. Legendary battle, huge turning point. I had Lush on the show, so we discussed it, so maybe it was lingering. Hulk, fourth one, back on home soil. Which Don't Flop event was, I think, the first of its kind. There may have been others, but it was the most recent one, where some of the battles were voted by fan poll. Wow. Um... <laughs> Any idea? Was it 8th birthday? 8th birthday? No, no, it was an 8th birthday one. Um... I know they won like like 2013. I think it was like a Liverpool event, but I don't know if that's the most recent one. I, I would take that as a correct answer, yeah. Oh. It featured Ricky Riley versus Shuffle T. I was there. I was there as well, yeah. O'Shea Madness, which didn't go down. Then O'Shea Blizzard happened. That wasn't really voted on, but yeah, that was part of it. So, uh, yeah, First Blood uh, goes, goes to one. Hey. Quite, <laughs> Final question, Hulk. Um, who was Enigma supposed to battle at sixth birthday? Was it Bonnie Godiva. It was Bonnie Godiva. It was Bonnie Godiva. So uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, one all at the end of Hulk's round. Juan, are you ready to go? Go for it. First question. Name three different props that Ogmios has used in battles. Uh, okay. Has he used a stick? Yep. Like a Mister Mister stick. Yep. Yep. Um, a wizard wand. That's correct. Uh, and a Lego man. A Lego man with the point. A Lego man with the point, yeah. yeah. There's also a leak involved, a melodica, ping pong paddle. The guy is a, a genius in, in so many ways. Second question. Um, simply name a battle that's in black and white. Name a black well, and white. Like uh, well, like Hulk would know this. Well, like bad KOTR battles are black and white. <laughs> Maybe they are by accident alone, but maybe they are, yeah. No, I can't. I can't think of any. Okay, Hulk. Do you know what? I know they're KOTR ones that are black and white, but I can't remember what ones. <laughs> um, do you know what I want to say though? Even though it's got, um, oh, who is it? Nah. Um, I got. Do you know what? I, f I feel like it's a Carlton Shanks battle as well, man. Right. Um, I'm gonna say Carlton Shanks versus. Canel? Colin Shanks versus Canel. I'm going to have to double check that right now on the internet. Uh, the one I was thinking... No, uh, Colin Shanks versus Canel. I don't know if that's out, actually. I don't even think that's happening, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making up answers. You got me on the spot, though. I was like, shit. Snow versus KG the Poet. I don't know if you've seen this. That's the one that always springs to mind for me. Black and okay. white battle. Okay, so, Quam, we're going back into Don't Flop History for question three. There was this trailer, this clip that occasionally came on the front of like 2011 battles with Yunnan and Shotty and, and one of them's holding a knife. Do you remember this? Yeah. During, you know, they go, hi, this is Shotty, you know, all that sort of stuff. They, you know, it's pretty entertaining shit, pretty dardaristic. And um, Yunnan at the end of the video grabs an animal and shouts the animal's name at the camera. What's the animal? That's a mad question. Um, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> uh, definitely seen that a couple times as well. Yeah, um, it's pretty memorable if you watch it back. I know it's quite obscure to pick, but I'm gonna say um, an elephant. An elephant? No, it's not an elephant. <laughs> Hulk. It's worth a guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it in there. A cat, maybe? <laughs> it's a zebra. Hi, my name is Shotty Horror, and I'm holding a knife and a tub of lube. This is unanimous. He is. Going to say something. Zebra! Ah! Okay. Slightly easier here for you. Who else has Shuffle T partnered with on camera? Easy. You were there, Hulk. Um, you were there. Gibbo. Gibbo is correct. Gibbo is correct, yeah. That's uh, two for you. Final question now. Name three other battles that went down at the same event that Scoops debuted at. This is Battle of the Brave. Uh, Tony versus Matt Hopper is one. Holodon versus Pat Stay and Gemini versus Charlie Clip. Yep, that's correct. So at the end of the uh, you know first proper round, 
we find ourselves at four uh, one. How are you feeling about that hole? Um, I feel a little bit defeated, but there's still time in it. So it's a lot of time. There's a lot of time. There's a lot of rounds to go. The second round is who battled who. The answer is going to be a battler. You can both shout out here uh, as many times as you want. The answer is going to be a battler. I'm just going to give you their opponents. We're going to go four. So we're going to go sort of most obscure to maybe the most obvious, kind of like only connect style. Okay. So first question: This person has battled Mr. Thirteen and Roan. Yep, that's correct. Euphorical. This person has battled Archaic and Jay Short. Tally. Not Tally. He's also battled DNA and Tony D. Villain. No. Oh. Hot one. Immaculate. Oh. No, Immaculate. Koj. Koj. No, uh, that was Dots. Oh. Battled Mickey Worthless and One Four Two. This person has also battled Enigma and J Red. Oh, Rivers. No, if you think about it, it's there. Enigma, J Red, Mickey, and One Four Two. Fuck. That was the man, Big Daddy Bleach. Oh. This person has battled Cracker and G Double E. They've also battled Seuss and Bobby Rex and Cracker and G Double E. O'Shea. Not O'Shea. Hulk. Seuss, Bobby Rex. Pedro. Not Pedro, no. Cracker, G Double E, Seuss, and Bobby Rex. Last chance. It's, bad. it's Innuendo. Our, uh, our last of this round. They battled Kid Twist and Disaster. They've also battled Conceited and the Saurus. Run. Not Rowan, about Kid Twist, Disaster, Conceited, and the Saurus. Dumbfounded. Dumbfounded for the point, yeah. Dumbfounded. So we end 5 2 on the second round. The next round is I'm going to give the real names of battlers. Just tell me who these people are. David McFadden. Is that Madflex? No. Megadeth. What? <laughs> oh, I don't know. oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. That's Evil. That's Evil. That's Evil. That's, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thinking too hard. Man. I mean, oh, you're kind of a league owner, you know. Maybe got a little slight Facebook advantage here. Uh, Nat Schumacher. Um, uh, ellipsis. Ellipsis. Sam Shaw. Okay. Oh, okay. shit. Man. Zach Wilcox. <laughs> that was Sketch Menace. And finally, Lewis LeBron. Uh, Tough. That alias that it. <laughs> Good guess, uh, but no. <laughs> Hulk, any guesses uh, for Lewis shit. LeBron? Uh, no. But that was the saga. 7-3 uh, oh, in the third round. Fourth round is a new round. As I said, this is what event. So I'm just going to say a battle and uh, what event did it go down at. Chilla Jones versus Dialect. Fourth birthday? No. Mm, Massacre. Flatline 3, that was. A cracker versus Enigma. Summer Standard. Summer Standard is correct. Yeah, Summer Standard. Oh, um, Saurus versus O'Shea. Um, rap is full. What was the event called? La the last, last word. words. Last words. Which one? Yeah. Impact versus Bowski. April Fool's. No. <laughs> that was in the uh, Croatia boat party. I was about at Outlook, yeah. And final one. Uh, Jack Flash versus Scissors. To the test. To the test. Nine. No. To the test ten. <laughs> to the test ten. It was to the test ten. <laughs> why didn't I just say to the test ten? I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> So we go into the final round, which is the finish the line round. So I'm going to give you each a set of questions and you just got to give me the answer again. If you, you get first stab and the next person does, if you fail. Hulk, first for you. In what battle did Pedro first say preparate? Uh, was it against... Carlos? No, Juan. Was it against Zen? It was against Zen. It was against Zen. Yo, yo, yo! Come on. Zen's a wasted amateur. I preparate to batter you. I'll punch you in your face. You'll land a destination Canada. Big Birmingham battle this was, Hulk. Roan versus Blizzard. Uh, Roan saying to Blizzard, I'm trying to teach you not to take the fucking piss out of you. So you're going to take it. I'm not taking any lip from you. And to throw it in... Big punch. I don't know. No? I don't know. Do I you... was there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Is it... Uh... Justin Bieber will kick the shit out of you. Let's go. Yo, it's shit like that that makes me think that we can't get the kid out of you. I'm trying to teach you not to take the fucking piss out of you, so you're going to take it. I'm not taking any lip out of you, and to throw it in, Justin Bieber will beat the shit out of you. <laughs> guy is too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> so final for you of the finish the line round, Hulk. US battle on DF soil, Arsenal versus DNA. And, you know, DNA flips, you know, no bars in it um, with the whole, you know, ARS. In you remember that scheme he does? Vaguely. Do you know vaguely? 
Okay, well, this bodes well. So, uh, you know, throughout the scheme, he makes words that end in ARS. Can you name two of them? Bars and cars. That's not correct, Juan. <laughs> um, Mars yeah. and stars. <laughs> That's correct. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I like when you told Charlie Clips you can't spell R without putting the bars in. It's just one problem. In my rounds, I've been had bars in. Nigga, while you was on Earth, I was on Mars with it. Cocking my fear through blood, sweat, and tears. And these battles, I went through wars with it. Over the years, I opened some ears, met a few stars in it. And the last words I knew was all ending with R in it. Yeah, he says, while well, you were on Earth, I was on Mars with it. <laughs> Uh, opened some ears and may met some stars, you know that sort of idea. Nice. But uh, yeah, free for free there from the round. Oh, and he didn't, and he didn't say bars at all. He did say bars. Yeah, he, he began with bars. Yeah, I was just picking through this loads of there's loads of examples. Yeah, um, and he didn't say cars. He didn't say cars. No, <laughs> that is so unlike DNA. <laughs> <laughs> so first for you, Juan, conceited versus Kruger. Um, what is conceited like Temple Run? I say, what does he compare? How does he compare him to Temple Run? Or how he would treat him? Something about making a little man jump, but I think there's more to it. I can't, I can't remember fully. Yeah, there's slightly more there. Is it something about tapping and making his Temple Run? It's not. It's not actually. It's one flick of a finger will make this little man jump. He'd be too scared of the noise it makes, even if he had one. Forget a gun, it's like Temple Run. One flick of a finger would make this little man jump. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be harsh. Um, one of my personal favourite bars, I would say, just to show some bias, uh, Shotty versus Tony. Why does Tony say that Shotty is like a typical city fan? To get Etihad, Etihad to move from the main road. Let's go. I used to battle rap on street. This is more of a stage show. Typical city fan to get Etihad to move from the main road. Crazy, crazy fucking bar. Great, great battle. Mm. Final question of the whole episode. Name three Pokemon mentioned by 100 Bullets in his second round scheme versus Saurus. Shit. Um, uh, Jigglypuff. Yeah. <laughs> blast Toys? <laughs> Not actually, no. You're thinking of Conceited, I think, there. He didn't say he's going to Blast Toys? He didn't, no. Oh. Um, Charizard? <laughs> he didn't Hulk with the Steel? He said he'll squirt all over a Jigglypuff. He did, oh. he did. I need a third Pokemon. Um, did he say Charmander? Yeah, uh, your horsey, my charm, and uh, yeah, he did <laughs> yeah. say that. He did say that there. Start over now. Listen close. I said for starters, I didn't write you any bad bars, but I got a ghastly scheme for you. Your horsey, my charm, and their pants come off. Thrown across the freaking room, I squirt all over her Jigglypuffs, but that ain't something he would do. He'd rather poke a man to the Bulbasaur. Sack is what Pete could chew. Oh. <laughs> so we close up 13-5. Uh, Juan, victorious. Yeah, I know. Pretty close in the end, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. No, good. that was good. Uh, Hulk, how are you feeling? Um, I feel defeated, man. But you know, <laughs> I suppose this is this is where I need to knuckle down and start studying. You know, and... you've been focusing on other things, like just briefly to touch on the Chrome battle, uh, which I was in the room for. Pretty much everyone saying it was your best ever performance. They've been saying that about every battle I've done, like the last four battles. I think <laughs> so. You know, I don't know whether to believe them or not, but. Yeah, I think it was good. Um, to be honest with you, I weren't 100% um, happy with it. A couple of little stumbles. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, man. It was enough. It was enough. Absolutely. And um, Juan, are we going to see you again on Premier Battle soon? Yeah, I'm on the next match day, actually. Okay. But um, we're just working on trying to get an opponent because uh, Mandrill Mob got a couple of people that can't make it on the day. So okay. I think it might have to be alone. But yeah, yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely be on it. Mm. Excellent, yeah. man. Well, what managers need to get sacked, bro? Wow. Well, Trust me. So many people coming in as loans. Not it kind of defeats the the purpose of the thing. I guess. Yeah. I had this. I had this kind of debate on the forum um, when it all started, and I basically said like, how is people going to be sure that they can commit to all of these battles per year like you're, you're picking top tier what you think is the most top tier of the country but some of them you know you can't see them committing to all of them battles per year yeah you kind of need more than two people every event like you can't really have one or two out of your four battles making it but you know 
maybe they'll change it up next year. Uh, again, guys, you know, this was so good to have you both on. Um, please follow the show as well. Patreon, iTunes, all that stuff is on there. Subscribe to the channel. But Juan Hulk, so good to have you guys on, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man.